Hello ladies and gentlemen, Xintero here and welcome back to another video. Now I hope all of you are doing well today because I am as always. And in today's video we're going to be discussing or I'll be showing you my top 3 favourite easter eggs in Infinite Flight. Now I've done many features uh, videos talking about features and easter eggs in Infinite Flight previously. But today we'll be specifically looking at the top 3 best easter eggs of them all. Now... For this video, the main aircraft we'll actually need is the 757. Now, we only have the 757 200 in infant flight, but I still think it's literally a spectacular aircraft in this mobile flight simulator, of course. Just look at this thing. Um, it's truly amazing. And it is also worth noting, if you're new here, please can you like and subscribe. Now, the first Easter egg is this guy called Moritz. Now, he's part of the Infant Flight team, and he's scattered around Infant Flight at numerous airports. Now, he's at EDDN, which is Nuremberg Airport, being one of the airports I know. And we can see the little dude here plane spotting. So, there he is right here, just plane spotting. And the quality of this video, uh, photo, like 3D input, is amazing. Now, he's actually meant to be on some stairs, um, but he seems to be floating in my version of Infinite Flight. Um, but he's literally spotted. He's able to be spotted spotting all around Infinite Flight. So if we head over to Los Angeles Airport, of course, he's in a little in and out, um, which I've shown all of you before. So we'll actually head, let's head over to Zerit, shall we? And you can see that he is indeed a contributor to this airport. Um, so perhaps most of the airports he's a contributor to, he has just added himself in there. So he's also at Zerich at a few places. Now, I'm not too sure where he is at Zerich Airport. Um, I just know he's present there and he exists there. So it will be quite hard to see if we can find him at Zurich. Um, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. Now, I think it's a pretty cool Easter egg that they do have lying about, of course. Um, I think it's it's fun. Um, and it's definitely some cool place spotting. Um, some like people spotting really more than plane spotting for us, isn't it? Um, and I'm not too sure where he's actually located at Zurich Airport. Now, I might have to do a little bit of Googling. Um, to see if we can find the location of our missing culprit. However, I do believe he's located twice at two different locations in this airport. Um, and I do not actually know where either of them are. Now, there are many photos that have been circulating. One of them is inside a building or in a building that I've seen on the Infinite Flight community. And another one plots him outside in, in like a car. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. And I'm going to come back to you all once I've located him at Zurich Airport. Okay, so I have found our missing culprit here. Now, it took me a while to find him, but here he is at Zurich Airport. So, if you want to find him, he's literally right there. Um, so, he's in perspective. If you want it on the map, I can show you exactly where the dude is on the map now. Um, so, we've spawned here. So, he's literally there, right there, by gate 41. Now, there is a second um, Moritz somewhere at Zerich Airport. I'm just not too sure where he is um, elsewhere at the airport. But he's literally just chilling right here um, and just hiding about here. So, oh, that's a really cool um, place to see him today. Um, but he's, yeah, literally. So, I'm pretty sure at nearly every airport. So, if you go to a random airport and see that Moritz is part of it. Because we go to Los Angeles, I think. And he's I know he's there. So, if he's classed as a um, development assister or whatever for that specific airport, I'd hedge your bets and say that there is a Moritz person there. Because um, he was, again, um, if I just go on to it somewhere, he wasn't a contributor to Los Angeles, but he's not in Los Angeles Airport. Um, but again, he was a contributor to Zurich. I think someone mentioned Lepa as well. Um, but again, we won't actually have to look into it. The fact is that he is scattered across infinite flight. So we'll see how many people can name um, in the comments where you can find more. It's if you, anyone who gets the highest um, number, fair play to you. Uh, maybe I'll uh, pin your comment or something. But it'd be, it'd be cool to see how many places you guys can find that actually have more. It's, and if we could do it, maybe we could do a little challenge and see who can find the most of it. But I think it's really cool the fact that he's located at so many different places. Just look at him, just chilling there with his camera. Looking straight down the runway and the cross section. That's just an amazing feature. And I think, again, it probably is one of the coolest Easter eggs that Infant Flight have. Now, the next one is a game which we have in Infant Flight. And it does require the 757. And I have shown you guys it once before, I think. But we're going to have to do some stuff which is um, 
a little bit off the rule book so we're gonna literally have to do vertical right here and hopefully we'll gain speed whilst doing so now unfortunately tim will be very upset one of my dear friends um he gets very upset when i have to do vertical stuff like this to get a bit of content um so hopefully we are still gaining an airspeed um we're not are we so we need to reach flight level 390 and what happens is when we reach this flight level we're gonna have to turn our lights off uh, our landing lights off when we reach this flight level we can and um, get access to an in flight game so that's pretty cool so we are just gonna level out i think just for a little bit um, and gain a bit of speed very quickly um, and then we will then head up vertical again now flight level 390 39,000 feet is a very high altitude for us to reach um, so it does take us a little bit of getting to but again we are in solo mode so we're not going to be following any rules today in infant flight although if the, you are doing this on an online server please make sure you climb um, at reasonable rates with realistic speeds and everything um, as that's the point of playing online solo mode for me um, is mainly just to have a bit of laugh a bit of a laugh and get you guys as much content as i possibly can now it's extremely hard to climb sometimes in effort flight to a decent altitude now so maybe we'll bring our flaps up again um i'd imagine they're giving us a bit of drag actually and slowing us down um, a little bit too much so yeah they were so when we reach this altitude um which we've still got twenty thousand feet to go through a uh, little airport down there there it is morris is just chilling there um we're gonna head into our the exterior bit of the plane so do we have any views no we don't we're going to use one of these cameras to get to the in-flight entertainment board which is this board i believe up here is the board we'll be needing um, so we're going to go up vertical once again now we've regained a bit of speed and we are almost there actually we're nearly at 29,000 feet so what actually happens again when we reach 29,000 feet is we'll go in and we'll just press the landing lights so we can't be far from getting there so what i'll do is when we get to that altitude i will come back to you and i'll see you there in a minute okay so we're literally 38,000 feet so we are almost at those 39,000 feet here and we've literally hit it that was really quick so we're just gonna turn autopilot on for a second for our heading and our speed and hopefully not drop down below the altitude a little too much so we should have to pull up a little bit more there we go so we're almost at 39,000 feet um, when we reach 39,000 feet, which right now, you, we will swap to that camera and hopefully all we have to do is turn on the, um, the lights, which are the, the uh, landing lights. So we'll just calibrate this quickly, just for uh, some good sake. And apparently is that board which we use, I imagine. So we'll just wait for us to reach that altitude. Um, we oh, should very nearly be at that altitude. Um, are we there yet? almost what's it saying in here it's just not swapping for us i see at the bottom of the screen we're a few feet so we'll, we'll give it a go now and hopefully it works yes look it's working so i'm not too sure if this works with other altitudes now but you have to put your landing lights on again this does kill your realism but the, this feature in general is a really cool feature that infinite flight has and you can literally play this game whilst flying Again, if you get bored, you know, you can just play a little of, um, knock out all of the weird screen things. No idea what this game is called, but that's what we've, we've, we've just named it, knock out all of those weird screen things. So we have just sped the ball up as well. I don't know how. Um, is it because we, ah, oh, we like pushed it, right. Okay. Oh, I didn't know you could speed up the ball guys, but apparently if you like push the ball, we're going to push it again. Yes. The ball goes a little bit faster. And then I suppose that would mean your time at the end of it is much better as well. Because I'm pretty sure once you remove all of these, it tells you how well you did um, for that game. So if it does do that, I know it does for some of the other games. Let me know what your best time is and we'll see who's got the best time. Um, maybe I'll ask you guys to prove it. Oh, whoa, that was so cool. Unfortunately, we um, died like right after it. But yeah, so you just turn the landing lights on and off and your game um, as well doesn't lose any progress. So... I think that's a really cool addition we've got there in the 757 um, and that is definitely one of the best features in infinite flight now the final feature i want to show you is there one in this cockpit that is not one in this cockpit unfortunately so we're gonna have to go in the a350 because i know it's in there and it's that the cockpits in infinite flight aircraft have just all of them have their own special feature 
So this is more of a, a large feature for all of the aircraft in infinite flight. And basically what quite a few of them have, like the A350, or unlike the A350. Okay, so the A350 has one, but not the one I was thinking of. They've got stuff like water bottles, Coke bottles, Pepsi bottles. So here we've got um, a little drink bottle. Um, is that the Pepsi? Typical Pepsi. I can't tell if that's a Pepsi. Maybe we should get some Prime in here. That would be quite funny. Um, but there are no iPhones in this cockpit. There we go. So we got the drinks. Now, some cockpits have, um, like, iPhones in them. It must be either an A330 cockpit or a 777 cockpit. Now, the little iPhone is a really good feature, and I love the feature. I think it's cool and slick. I think it's one of the... Um, best features that we have in infinite flights because it's just there we go there it is something cool is that you can see the infinite flight logo it's got the stocks the app store and all of that and infinite flight obviously there very good and then of course the little drink bottle right next to it so is there a interior drone i can use to have a look see what drink we do i can't tell what drink that is we're going to assume it's lemonade and i'll be wrong as always if someone can tell me what drink that is because i don't recognize it is it an american brand I don't recognise a, a yellow one with BLV on it. It looks like a B. Maybe we'll, we'll call it B water or something. Um, but yeah, so I think that is, again, a really, really cool feature that the Infant Flight has. Um, I think it's the one of, not, not the best, of course. I think the other two features are a bit cooler. I think the Infant Flight game one is definitely good and ideal. And apparently, um, again, you can get access to that game at terminals if you use other aircraft and just go to a terminal which will definitely have one such as london heathrow here and i'm pretty sure you might need to start the aircraft up or something to play this game um, but we'll go to terminal 5b why not and basically um if you just turn on i'm pretty sure it's the same as the 757 trick i just showed you you just pop on your landing lights and i'm pretty sure the game will just turn up hopefully um or we, we can always hope anyway um, for our best now so like i was just discussing the infant flight it's got good features it's got some cool features i think there are many features which i haven't um, unfortunately included unfortunately there is no screen here either so that's a bit annoying um but what i'll do is i'll um, leave a link if i remember i don't always remember unfortunately and um, but other than that i will see you all in my next video please make sure i like subscribe if you're new but other than that good night And you